sidewalk is cracked I'm not superstitious, but I'm in a pact With old mother earth, she'd get off my back Oh, no. 
stuck in a song whistling thusly Stereotypical life Kids and a wife Three of them plus me Godzilla 
Bill took a bite out of Optimus Prime Like Scruff McGruff took a bite out of crime And then Shaq came back covered in a tire track But Jackie Chan jumped out and landed on his back And Batman was injured and trying to get steady When Abraham Lincoln came back with a machete But suddenly something caught his leg And he tripped to Indiana Jones took him out with his whip Then he saw Godzilla sneaking up from behind Then he reached for his gun which he just couldn't find Cause Batman stole it and he shot and he missed And Jackie Chan deflected it with his fist Then he jumped in the air and he did a somersault While Abraham Lincoln tried to pull a fault onto Optimus Prime But they collided in the air Then they both got hit by a Care Bear stare This is the ultimate showdown Ultimate destiny Good guys, bad guys and explosions As far as the eye can see And only one will survive I wonder who it will be This is the ultimate showdown sang out in an immaculate chorus down from the heavens descended chuck norris who delivered a kick which could shatter bones into the crotch of indiana jones who fell over on the ground writhing in pain as batman changed back into bruce wayne but chuck saw through his clever disguise and he crushed Batman's head in between his thighs Then Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White And Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight And Benito Mussolini and the Blue Meanie And Cowboy Curtis and John B. the Genie Robocop, the Terminator, Captain Kirk and Darth Vader No pants, Superman, every single Power Ranger Bill S. Preston and Theodore Logan Spock, the Rock Dog, Ark and Hulk Hogan All came out of nowhere, lightning fast And they kicked Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass It was the bloodiest battle that the world ever saw With civilians looking on a total law for a century, many lives were claimed, but eventually the champion stood. The rest saw the better. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. This is the ultimate showdown, ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see, and only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. This is the ultimate showdown. This is the ultimate showdown.
inside of everybody's head inside of everybody's head there is a hum there's a hum there's a never ending hum and no one ever seems to notice it no one seems to notice it you have never noticed it ever 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 until now
the Archaeopteryx That I never want to miss Fellow had no chocolates Liar, liar, wings on fire Now the clock ticks And I hope this will fix All the presents were tricks Farewell, Mr. Archaeopteryx
which would fall apart Cause it was barely attached to anything other than broken synthesizer keys Cassette tapes and burn CDs Cindy, Cindy and the lo-fi lullabies Ain't getting very big In fact her only game Was pathetic Just wasn't right just there and when she woke up and when she woke up that was when in this Cindy broke up in this Cindy broke up she broke up not for artistic differences she just Equipment around in cyclonic displacement till it looked like her basement again. La 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 If the court has no 
objections Without 
Accidental accident at the factory It was made so bad it never need be wound For the watch ran on love Which it had plenty of For deep in the ocean there's plenty of love to be found Such thing as time There is no need for trying to put it together Put it together right Believe we'll someday lose our feet Pick up some girls and travel Deep, 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 deep in the ocean And enjoy a life that never should get away And selling and always propelling it forward And the leader of the fish will take a stand And we shall see it swim With a wristwatch on its fin And the race of fish will be taking over our land The fish will take our seats The schools, the farms, the streets Be stuck down deep and maybe we'll never put it together
your surfboards in the swamp with a playful little chum Let you know that you're a friend and they love you They'll let you surf all afternoon Give you cookies and balloons and some pocket cash to spend I'm lonely, whatever that means But when I see you in your pre-embroidered jeans I get this feeling like probably in my heart That most of the time we should never be apart You're kinda pretty, I guess for now you'll do I mean you're beautiful, nobody comes close to you And all that rubbish, girls like to be told You gotta know this stuff when you are 17 years old I guess I'm saying let's turn a new leaf I'll wear my AMF hat askewly And we can go where to I don't know but baby I guess that I love you truly I wanna be your white friend, boyfriend I want to be your mainstream man I wanna be your typical toy And break up in time for college plans and Skateboard and I play the guitar. I'll take you out and about in my parents' car. We'll catch a movie, get some McDonald's, go to 
a party, let somebody else clean up the bottles I'm getting desperate, I know how love hurts I would give up my sneakers and my polo shirts To be your sweetheart, I am sorta nice You could do better, but I'll probably suffice I'll serenade you like all the others With overplayed pick up you spam covers Is it the love of the black bearer that tells us we might as well become lovers? I wanna be your white bread boyfriend I want to be your bargain foe You're like my soulmate, let's hold hands so everyone else So 
grim and gruesome And drive until I'm ill Watch the happy twosomes Whom if I were truly lonely I would probably want to kill And I'm gonna shed tear after tear Not that I'm a lonely guy But Valentine's comes but once a year I might as well give it a try This is my home Probably cost more than all of ancient Rome Still I may No one to float With me in my pool Or my lake or my moat Some of those Make people coo Make them buzz Some Xana do Mine Xana doesn't Intrigue the town no one will ride on my merry-go-round No one They run away It never ends And all I have Are gargoyle friends So beautifully carved out of volcanic stone Still I'm alone All they can do Is fountain the wine from the winemaking
Humanity just gave me a funny look. Humanity tried to turn away from me, but apparently I'm a part of it. So here I am, all grown up and perfectly used to the thought of tall, tall buildings which stack people vertically. I've even been in airplanes which allow you to enjoy the 1,000th floor without needing any lesser floors to hold it up. Pretty soon we'll live in outer space and there won't even be an up or down anymore. I think once we're there, we'll invent something even better than up or down, referring to what I said before. See you in the next dimension, it's beyond our comprehension. Life is lovely, not to mention extra Street they strolled, and all around the world was changing in a manner of ways ranging from dialect of fashion, the state of affairs, absolutely clashing with the world that was theirs. I don't understand these kids today, said Rose. Yeah, responded Sam, take a look at this boy's clothes. Station Samuel and Rosella. 
these kids today with their sleepy expressions and their satanic tattoos and they're running around in the arcade parlors and their shiny gold blam blam or whatever they call it and their dangerous skateboards and their chef boyardees and their dang bangles computer machines teaching them how to make bombs and their eye frogs or whatever they call it and their automobiles with the wheels that look like they're still spinning when they stop and their trench coats and their colorful t-shirts with the Marxist propaganda on them and their phone singles and their Britney Spears as husbands and their powdered wigs and their peg legs with the decals on them and their low carb diets and their rock in the vote and their collectible bottle caps and their tiny little cameras inside the tiny little portable telephones and their for shizzle mcfizzle ding dong dizzle snoopy dog language and their general disrespect towards their elders well they can burn in hell I say every last one of them
Every time you stifle a sneeze, the force of the sneeze cannot simply disappear from existence. It must manifest elsewhere, often causing a small creature to explode or a chef's hat to fly off into the air. The talk blanche. The chef's hat. Why is it shaped like a mushroom cloud? Because they both sure can cook. And why is a mushroom cloud shaped like a mushroom? Not many people know this, but out in the forest, right where every mushroom grows, there used to be a tiny Japanese city, so tiny that even David the Gnome could commit accidental genocide just by taking a poop without looking. Ironically, gnome poop is highly sought after in Japan because of its mystical properties and because it tastes good on sushi for people who can't handle wasabi. Here in America, gnome poop's mystique is somewhat overshadowed by that of unicorn seed, the hip new soda pop that all the kids are guzzling on the street corners. Its popularity has been hugely fostered by product placement in popular films. For instance, in the film Muscular Hooker 2, Will Smith's character takes a dramatically framed swig of unicorn seed and then suddenly grows a CGI erection which extends into infinity and then Will Smith's mind explodes and the movie ends. For that scene alone, Roger Ebert gives the film three and a half stars. Not many people know this, but movie critics have a finite amount of stars that they can award in their lifetime. They are often kept in a vault, heavily secured to prevent a senile Scrooge McDuck from wandering in, mistaking the stars for gold coins, and swimming in them. This is for Scrooge's own protection, as the stars have sharp edges which would lacerate his body into a bloody feathered pulp. If this were to happen, his will states that the entire McDuck fortune will go to his grandnephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie and that his nephew Donald would get zilch because nobody understands what the Christ he is saying anyway, so who cares. As for Scrooge McDuck's body, it will be jerked and eaten, as per Scottish tradition. Indeed, cannibalism of the dead is a cherished custom in Scotland. When a Scottish boy's coming of age is celebrated, a ceremony known as the Scot Mitzvah, he is forced to consume his own great-grandfather, bones and all, in just 24 hours, or else the local shaman will hit him on the head with a magical stick that stops him from ever becoming an adult. Now you might think that eternal childhood wouldn't be such a bad thing, never never land and all that jazz, but no. Once your parents are dead, there's nothing to stop you from eating nothing but sweets, as children are wont to do. And when your baby teeth have rotted away, there will be no adult teeth to take their place. Toothless, stupid, and unkissed by the spirits of puberty, you will be banished from Scotland to the only place in this world where an awkward man-child such as yourself can ever hope to be accepted, Ireland. You will live as a leprechaun. You will don a false beard and a green bowler and stand on the streets jabbering about a non-existent pot of gold. When darkness falls, you will sleep in an alley on a bed of night soil clutching a potato which will be your surrogate mother. If you are found by leprechaun poachers, your only hope for escape is to mesmerize them with a sprightly leprechaun jig and then stab their eyes out with your leprechaun stiletto. Then you must run away to find another Irish hamlet and the cycle will repeat forever until one of three things happens. One, the poachers get too smart for you. Two, you starve to death. Three, the stifled sneeze of the distant someone causes you to explode and die. Okay, I got an awesome idea for a movie. On board a flight over the Pacific Ocean, an assassin bent on killing a passenger who's a witness in protective custody. Let loose a crate full of deadly snakes on a plane. The captain can't explain why there's snakes on a plane. Oh yeah. On a plane, they're driving me insane. All these snakes on a plane, oh yeah. With Samuel L. Jackson.
I'm the oldest man on my space On the old computer by my rest home bed All my blogs are rambling tales of bygone times Everyone in my top eight is dead When I see a teenage girl all made up like a whore It takes me straight back to the Second World War But I know she'll never love an old fart like me Which is why I put my age as 23 man on my space, wheezing to away my chemical romance song. I'm writing out my will in glitter text. I'm giving everything Which could shatter bones 
into the crotch of Indiana Jones, who fell over on the ground, writhing in pain, as Batman changed back into Bruce Wayne, but Chuck saw through his clever disguise, and he crushed Batman's head in between his thighs. Then Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White and Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight and Benito Mussolini and the Blue Meanie and Cowboy Curtis and John B. the Genie Robocop the Terminator, Captain Kirk and Darth Vader, Low Pan, Superman, every single Power Ranger Bill S. Preston and Theodore Logan, Spock the Rock, Doc Ock and Hulk Hogan all came out of nowhere lightning fast and they kicked Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass It was the bloodiest battle that the world ever saw with civilians looking on a total law The fight raged on for a century, many lives were claimed but eventually the champion Stood. The rest saw their better, Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater This is the ultimate showdown, ultimate destiny Good guys, bad guys, and explosions As far as the eye can see And only one will survive, I wonder who it will be This is the ultimate showdown
old Godzilla was hopping around Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade and hit Godzilla with a bad grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq, who proceeded to open up a can of Shaq Fu when Aaron Carter came out of the blue and he started beating up Shaquille O'Neal. Then they both got flattened by the Batmobile, but before we could make it back to the Batcave, Abraham Lincoln popped out of his grave and took an AK-47 out from under his hat and blew Batman away with a rat tat tat but he ran out of bullets and he ran away because Optimus Prime came to save the day. This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions as far as the eye can see. And only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Godzilla took a bite out of Optimus Prime Like Scruff McGruff took a bite out of crime And then Shaq came back covered in a tire track But Jackie Chan jumped out and landed on his back And Batman was injured and trying to get steady When Abraham Lincoln came back with a machete But suddenly something caught his leg and he tripped Indiana Jones took him out with his whip Then he saw Godzilla sneaking up from behind Then he reached for his gun which he just couldn't find Cause Batman stole it and he shot and he missed And Jackie Chan deflected it with his fist Then he jumped in the air and he did a somersault While Abraham Lincoln tried to pull vault on dog Optimus Prime, but they collided in the air. Then they both got hit by a Care Bear stare. This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see, and only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. This is the ultimate showdown. Angels sang out in an immaculate chorus. Down from the heavens descended Chuck Norris who delivered a kick which could shatter bones into the crotch of Indiana Jones who fell over on the ground writhing in pain as Batman changed back into Bruce Wayne but Chuck saw through his clever disguise and he crushed Batman's head in between his thighs then Gandalf the Grey, and Gandalf the White, and Monty Python, and the Holy Grail's Black Knight, and Benito Mussolini, and the Blue Meanie, and Cowboy Curtis, and John B. the Genie, Robocop the Terminator, Captain Kirk, and Darth Vader, Low Pan, Superman, every single Power Ranger, Bill S. Preston, and Theodore Logan, Spock, the Rock, Doc, Ock, and Hulk Hogan, all came out of nowhere, lightning fast, and they kicked Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass, it was the bloodiest battle that the world ever saw, with civilians looking on a total law. The fire raged on for a century, many lives were claimed, but eventually the chance Champions stood, the rest saw their better. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions. As far as the eye can see, and only one will survive. I wonder who it will be. This is the ultimate showdown. 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 This is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny.
Turkeys. Turkeys. Who likes turkeys? I like turkeys. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Well, have I got news for you. What's that? I am a turkey. I am a turkey. I can see you're quite surprised. Man, I can't believe my eyes. Where'd you come from anyway? Gobble, gobble, gobble. 